Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So classification of wave. In the last class, we studied about the definition of wave, right? Uh, today, inshallah, we will try to go through the classification, mainly depending on the necessity of the medium, depending on the necessity of medium, whether the medium is needed or not needed. Based on that, the wave can be classified into two categories. Number one is mechanical wave. Mechanical wave. The second one is electromagnetic wave. Electromagnetic wave. Okay. So for mechanical wave, medium is necessary. And here, medium is not necessary. Okay. So based on the necessity, it can be divided into two main categories, mechanical wave, where medium is necessary, like the water wave. Water wave, you cannot create it if there is no water. That means medium is needed. Through which medium it will propagate. Then sound. This is also a wave that requires a medium. Like if there is air in front of your mouth, then only through that air, the wave can propagate. That means the sound can go forward and the person standing in front of you can hear you. But if there is no air in between you, who, if you are talking and someone else is standing in front of you is listening, okay? So if there is no air, then what will happen? There is no medium, so the sound wave cannot propagate, cannot travel. So then what will happen? If the sound is not going, then the person is standing in front of you will not be able to hear anything. Okay. So that is why these are mechanical wave. Okay. Then electromagnetic wave, which type of wave are these? Can anybody take any guess or any idea that which uh, waves might be, uh, you know, denoted as electromagnetic wave? Gravity. Uh, gravity is a force, not a wave. Sir, we are using internet, right? Is yes. that a good example? Internet connection. Basically, what we can say is the information that you are receiving in the form of wave. Like a game is going on in South Africa, but sitting at your home, in your TV, in your laptop, in your phone, you can watch it. How? From South Africa, the signal is being sent to the satellite. Where is the satellite? The satellite which revolves around the Earth. If this is Earth, around Earth, the satellites revolve. So the signals are sent to the satellite. As the satellites are in the space, we know that in the space, there is no air. There is no medium to propagate the wave. Then how the signal is reaching to the uh, satellite? As a form, in the form of electromagnetic wave, because this wave does not require any medium. So without medium, the wave, uh, the signal can be transferred to the satellite and from the satellite, it can be transferred to your TV box, okay? Or, you know, that uh, uh, disc type thing that we fix uh, on the roof, right? It receives the signal and sends it to your TV and your TV displays it, understood? So this type of uh, wave are electromagnetic wave. Now, in this level, SSC level, we are going to study in details about the mechanical wave only. Okay, electromagnetic wave, inshallah, we will get to know about it when we go to higher level, HSC level, inshallah. So mechanical wave. <clears throat> this mechanical wave can further be divided into two categories. Number one is transverse wave. Transverse wave. Already I have forwarded you a video and from the video, you have got the idea of what a transverse wave is. Another one is longitudinal wave. Another one is, uh, one is transverse wave, another one is longitudinal wave. Now, Mariam 9B, who is she? 9B, take it to Karo join for the So I did not allow her. Okay, so uh, mechanical wave, it is transverse wave and uh, another one is longitudinal wave. Now, what is the difference between them? Let us try to understand the difference, okay? So wave can be created, let us say this is, uh, 
particle of a medium. Okay, several particles are there, one after another. So, in how many directions they can move? They can move up and down. Correct. Like in the water wave, we saw that the water particle goes up and down. This is a periodic motion, right? Can it move in this direction also? Right? They can move sideways also. Correct or not? Do you agree? Yeah. Up and down. Yes, sir. Sideways. So in these two directions, they can move. Okay, Mariam, 9 meter K. I'm going to call. So as I was saying, uh, there are two directions of vibration of the particle. One, the particles can vibrate up and down and the verticals can vibrate sideways. Now, while it vibrates up and down, the wave is called transverse wave. Okay, sometimes the particles are going up, sometimes the particle is going down, okay? And in case of longitudinal wave, what happens? Sometimes they expand, sometimes they contract. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they contract. In this way, they move forward. So if I show it, um, you know, by air level, air level, okay? Yeah, let us say uh, whenever someone is talking, before you start talking, the air levels are evenly spread out, okay? The gap between them are same, okay? Even gap. But when you start talking, you give some energy to the air levels. So what they do, they start shaking sideways. Okay, so when one of the air level will start shaking, definitely the level that are adjacent to it also start shaking and that will pass the motion to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. Like in this way, the energy that you give to the air level is transmitted, okay? so. What, how the air levels look like at that time. Then in some places you will see that they are very congested. They are in a very congested situation. Okay, and in some place there are more space in between them. Then again, there is another contraction. Again contraction, then again expansion. Okay. Is it measured during earthquake? No. This is the air levels, okay? Some of the levels are contracted and some levels will be expanded. You can understand it from this only, okay? If these two particles, okay, if I take, hold the first one and start shaking it, so definitely it will push the other one and cause it to start moving, right? So both of them will start moving now. Now, when they both are moving, sometimes there is expansion. That means the gap between them is more and sometimes the gap between them is less. That means that time they are contracting, expanding, contracting, expanding, contracting, expanding. It happens like this, right? Uh, I forwarded you uh, the video. In video, you should have seen already through the slinky that uh, the doctor was passing the wave at first by uh, you know moving the slinky up and down. So a transverse wave was created. But then again, not up and down. Now he moved the slinky forward and back, forward and back. Then what happened? Another wave transmitted. So in that wave, what did you see? You saw that there was a little bit of expansion somewhere, then a contraction, then expansion, then contraction. Like that, it propagated, right? So these are the two types of wave. One is transverse wave, where the particles move up and down. Actually, uh, we would like to put it in a more systematic way. In both the cases, this is the direction of propagation of wave, right? The wave is going in this direction. Here also the wave is going in this direction. Now, the particles are moving up and down, right? The particles are moving up and down. So what is the direction between the movement of the particle and the propagation of wave? What is the angle between these two? 90 degrees. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. 90 degree. The main difference between transverse wave and longitudinal wave. That is what I'm discussing now. So here the particles are moving up and down. The wave is going in this direction. So the angle between these two directions is 90 degree. What about this? Here the particles move sideways. If you remember, I showed you 
here the particles move up and down but here they move sideways so this is the direction and this is the direction so if i put this direction here they are parallel to each other right okay the wave is for going in this direction and the uh, direction of particle uh, particle movement is also sideways so that is why these two lines will be parallel to each other and if two lines are parallel to each other what is the angle between them 180 zero because if two lines are parallel to each other what does that mean they will never intersect right parallel mani ki ebhabe same distance maintain kore tumi edike samne extend korlo eta same distance thakbe der moddhe edikeo tumi extend koro they will never intersect that is the definition of being parallel right so if they don't intersect there is no angle because to produce an angle two lines have to meet somewhere then only they will be able to produce some angle so if these two are not meeting at any point then there will be no angle produced between them as a result i can say that the angle between these two direction is zero so always remember when two lines are parallel to each other the angle between them is zero degree so this is the main difference okay now i will tell you the definition of transverse wave and the longitudinal wave okay the definitions are already written in your book you can just take note from there the purpose of the longitudinal wave প্রতিটি ওয়েভ डिफरेंट লাগে একটার সাথে আগে একটা কানেকশন কানেকশন নাই এই একটা লাইন না আছে তো কানেকশন আছে কই স্যার এখন তো আলাদা আলাদা লাইন এই যে এটা তো আমি লেভেল হিসেবে দেখাইছি না লেভেল হিসেবে দেখাইছি যেমন মনে করো তোমরা যদি এটা এক একটা লাইন এক একটা মানুষ মনে করো ঠিক আছে এক একটা লাইন এক একটা মানুষ তোমরা সবাই পাশাপাশি দাঁড়াইছো তোমরা ফ্রেন্ডরা পাশাপাশি দাঁড়াইছো তো প্রথমে তোমরা খুব আরামসে পাশাপাশি দাঁড়াইছো no one is moving but ek side e je kono ekjon ke dhore ami jodi ebhabe dhakano shuru kori ke bolcho bujhte parcho oke dhore ami ebhabe dhakano shuru korlam to tumi je ekta motion e ascho tomar motion ta porer tomar friend er kache transfer hobe sheo tokhon abar ebhabe move kora shuru korbe then o tar por por er jonke transfer korbe ebhabe to jokhon tumra ebhabe move kortecho there is a time when the otolo dono jone ebhabe move kortecho tai na ebhabe tumra pasapashe aro onek gula particle think korte paro ami ashole to matro dui ta hat चले तो ए लेवल टाप पर ए लेवल एक कच्चा कच्ची चोले जावे तो अपन कंट्रैक्शन टा इखाने चोले आज भी की बोल सकूँ उस तरफ सा एक्सपांशन कंट्रैक्शन एक्सपांशन कंट्रैक्शन ये भावे कोरो कोरा थोड़े तो समझ जाते थक दे तो हमरा जो दी इटा एक तो पिक्चराइज करते एक तो डिफिकल्ट मानो है ताहिले एक तो दायकर बेसिक डेफिनेशन टा हमरा ऐकोनेक्ट कोरी ये तो अच्छे ट्रांसफर्स वेव के डेफिनेशन टा डी वेव डेट प्रोपागेट्स प्रोपागेट माने अच्छे शाम नदी के जावा डेट प्रोपागेट्स पारपेंडिकुलर कुलरली पारपेंडिकुलरली पारपेंडिकुलरली माने की बोलो तो नाइंटी डिग्री नाइंटी डिग्री पारपेंडिकुलर माने नाइंटी डिग्री so the wave that propagates perpendicularly to the direction kisher sathe wave er je direction seta wave er direction ta kisher direction er sathe perpendicular to the direction of the vibration of the particle to the direction of the vibration of the particle othoba motion of the particle je kono ekta kichu likhte paro vibration of the particle particles that is called uh, transverse wave so it is going to be written so longitudinal wave er definition e shudhumatro ekta word tomake change korte hobe eta hocche a perpendicularly ei kotha ta ki hoye jabe bolo to parallel 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 very good perpendicularly er jaygay shudhu parallel e likhe diba it will become the definition of longitudinal wave the wave that propagates parallelly to the 
direction of the vibration of the particle is called longitudinal wave. Is it clear? Yes, yes sir. Okay. So, uh, in exam, uh, two, for two marks, they ask a question like what, uh, write uh, differences or differentiate between um, you know, longitudinal wave and transverse wave. So, for two marks, I always suggest write at least four points. Okay. So, one point we already got that uh, the angle is 90 degree in this case and the angle is 0 degree in this case. Okay. Or you can just write the definition perpendicularly and parallelly. Okay. Write the two definition in the differentiation. Then what else? What other difference are, differences are there? In a uh, transverse wave, the highest point in the upward direction, it is called the crest. What is it called? It is called crest. And the bottommost point, it is called trough. T-R-O-U-G-H. Trough. Okay? Crest and trough. So one wave is formed, including one crest and one trough. See, one wave will take you with কি <laughs> আছে <laughs> 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 এখানের মতো আমরা যদি ওয়েভের একটা স্টার্টিং পয়েন্ট এবং একটা ওয়েভ কোথায় কমপ্লিট হয়েছে সেটা যদি আমরা জানতে চাই তাইলে আমরা কিভাবে করতে পারবো You can take the starting point of a contraction. You can take a contraction and start it. Act a contraction, then act a expansion. Act a expansion, you can get the same way. This expansion is the same way. So, you can say, this is the same way. Act a wave. Then again, one contraction, one expansion, another wave. You can repeat the same thing. Contraction, expansion, contraction, expansion. Act a wave, act a wave, act a wave. Act a wave, act a wave, act a wave. Okay. তো তাইলে এখানে একটা ওয়েভের ভিতরে কি কি আছে এখানে ট্রেস্টার ট্রাফ আছে তোমরা সবাই কি করবা অবশ্যই তোমাদেরকে বইটা স্টাডি করতে হবে সবগুলো ডিফারেন্স আসলে আমি বলে দিব না ইট ইস ইউর ডিউটি ওকে তোমাদেরকে এটা ডিউটি দিলাম যে তোমরা বই খুঁজে বইয়ে রিডিং করে দোনোটা ডেফিনেশন এবং প্যারাগ্রাফ যে এক্সপ্লেনেশন গুলো আছে সবগুলো এক্সপ্লেনেশন করে মিনিমাম পাঁচটা ডিফারেন্স রেডি করবা দুইটা তো আমি বলে দিছি আর তিনটা তোমরা লিখবা ওকে সবগুলো যদি আমি বলে দিই না তোমরা দেখা যাবে বইটা আর পড়বা না এই যে এখন তোমাদেরকে ডিফারেন্স গুলো বের করতে বলছি এখন তোমাদের বইটা পড়া হবে ইনশাআল্লাহ ওকে এবং বই পড়ার সময় একটা পারপাস থাকবে যে ইউ আর লুকিং ফর সামথিং আমি নর্মালি যদি তোমাদেরকে পড়তে বলি যে এটা পড়িও তোমরা হয়তো বা রিডিং করবা ফলোইং ক্লাস and uh, inshallah in the next class we will get to know about some terms which are very important for wave like what is amplitude what is wave length what is wave velocity what is time period all these things are very important okay throughout the chapter we are going to need it and the numerical problems that you are going to see are related to these terms so the next class please don't miss it and uh, be serious inshallah okay revise all this it will make it easier for you to understand whatever jodi eta bhalo hoy ashole jodi tumra ektu boi te definition gulo age ektu pore rakho tahole ami class er shomoy jokhon bujhabo just reading korba tomake koshto kore ami bujhte boli nei google kore eta shikhe aste boli nei just ektu boi kore reading korba tahole jokhon ami bolbo tokhon tomar mathay ashbe je ha eta erokom kichu ekta porchhilam eta erokom tai na 
ওকে তো সবাইকে নেক্সট ক্লাসে দেখা হবে ইনশাআল্লাহ আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতুহু